in, hit the letter B. That's B as in bamboozled. 20 seconds. Oh, 20 seconds. Um, okay, look, listen, here's the directions. When a question pops up, you gotta buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right number on the keyboard. Got it? It is easy. Alright, now get out of here. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey there, my name's Cookie. You have any questions at all, please feel free to keep them to yourself. Anyway, this is it? Just you? Well, I get paid no matter what. Okay, let's do it. Coming at you, Homer, sweet Homer. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Hey, do you remember that the first home video game system was called the Odyssey? Well, if the first home video game were actually based on the epic poem, The Odyssey, what would be the object of the game? To get o The Odyssey recounts Odysseus's adventurous voyage home. Of course, with the technology available back then, it would probably be a hyped-up version of Pong. Bounce Odysseus between Troy and Greece until you win! Oh. Let's see what we got going. Sign your name on the solid yellow line. $1,000 at stake on this one. Complete this analogy. On the road is to Jack Kerouac, as on the road again is to... Jack Kerouac wrote on the road, and Willie Nelson wrote on the road again. <laughs> and oddly enough, both were run over by large trucks hauling melons. I'm just kidding. Category, please. <laughs> this one's called, Whatever Happened to Robbie Neville? And we got 3,000 bucks in the pot. Think fast. What 80s song would make the best theme song for the Arc de Triomphe? John Cougar Mellencamp's Pink Houses, The Bengals' Eternal Flame. A flame continually burns at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. No one's quite sure where the Tomb of the Forgotten Girl Band is. I need a category. Pucker up for soup is good question. This one's worth a grand. All right, we've all heard the waiter, what's this fly doing in my soup joke, right? And the hilarious punchline, it looks like the backstroke. Which of these would be the appropriate punchline to a joke that starts out, waiter, my soup's cold. Chilpino. Nice. Vichy Soise is a potato leek soup that's usually served cold. Oh, and your mom up. All right. Excuse me, my good man. Would you be so kind as to give me fire? Open wide and get ready for proud to be an American beer drinker. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. She's pissed. He's pissed. We're pissed. pissed. So pissed, pissed about, about a question. question. We're pissed about. Okay, this doozy of a pissed about a question letter is from Burke J. at the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana. And Burke J. writes, well, Burke kind of goes on and on about how he missed a question, and he's mad about it, and it's stupid, blah, 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 and, and, and then it concludes like this. Just kidding, I'm a loser, and I thought I'd write you guys. Really cool game. We play it every time we drink and there are no women here. <laughs> they couldn't answer to their own name when they're drunk. Okay, Burke, whatever, but uh, I have to tell you, I'm actually drinking and playing the game with a bunch of women who can't answer to their own name, and... Yeah. Uh, uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, we're five American women pretending to be Swedish. We enjoy appearing in Playboy. Ooh, yeah. And selling old Milwaukee beer. What's our name? The Swedish bikini team. The Swedish... Oh, 
yeah, they're the Swedish bikini team. And Burke, if the women you play with don't answer to their own name, well, they probably just don't want you to know what it is. Yeah! Okay. This little number is known as Mr. Simpson, stop eating the evidence. Thousand bucks if you get it. Hey, I was watching Judge Judy the other day, and this is a quote from one of the plaintiffs. Your Honor, the defendant has been repeatedly warned through commercials, specifically with Simpsons characters, to avoid the handling of the aforementioned... As the commercials say, nobody better lay a finger on my butterfinger. Yeah, right. Everybody's all concerned about the rights of the Butterfinger. What about me? Where are my rights when I've got all that orange crap stuck in my teeth? Category, please. Uh-oh, wet suck tit shine floor. It's time for a conversation. Let's see if you can make sense of this gibberish category. Why the war was so cold. This question's gonna start out at 5,000 big ones. Now don't get nervous, but the more time you take, the less cash you get. Alright, listen up and tell me, with what proverb does this rhyme? Yuri lost, his key still to bat. And please, kindly ignore the punctuation. First clue, it's a proverb about being nosy. Gotcha nose. It's a proverb about being nosy and its consequences. Last clue, the cat is dead. Quit playing dead and hurry up. You really should mind your own business, because Yuri lost his key still to bat. Curiosity killed the cat, which is a good thing, because if it barfed up a hairball on my new carpet one more time, I was going to do it. All right, hit me. Eight! For your enjoyment. That's no blackhead, that's Micronesia! How does $2,000 sound? Okay, listen carefully. Imagine your head is the Earth. The North Pole is at the top of your head, the equator runs right over the tip of your nose, and your big fat open mouth is Australia. Where's Thailand? On your left ear, on the back of your head, in the center of your chin, or on your right eye? On the back of your head, no, but at least you wouldn't have to see Thailand's currency collapsing. Bet you wish you'd pick this. Thailand is north and west of Australia, right where your right eye should be. And that pimple on the bridge of your nose is just the rich oil reserves of the Philippines. I need a category. This one likes to go by Moravian Water Stat. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Hey, listen up. Imagine you're going to be a guest star on ER. According to the script, Dr. Green tells you that you have syphilis, you're going to go crazy and die. Then he gives you a shot of morphine and you go home. So, what's the prognosis? You have syphilis, you're going to get a shot of morphine, you're going to go crazy and die, or you're going to be on ER. That's your diagnosis. Man, I hate it when people mix those two up. I'm glad you're sick. For the curious, here's the right answer. A prognosis is the prediction of the course and outcome of a disease. So you're gonna go crazy and die. But at least you had fun contracting syphilis. Okay, pick a category. One, two, three. And I believe this one's called My Dumb Brother. And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Let's see how you handle this one. Last year I resolved to quit gambling. My brother bet me I wouldn't stick to it, but in the end, I won the bet. What is this an example of? Paradox Antony. You should really get that looked at. Should have picked this. When an apparently contradictory conclusion is derived from what seem to be valid premises, this is called a paradox. Like how sometimes you get some right, so you must be smart. But you're not smart. I am, though. Y you get it now? One down, round two to go. Let's get on it. Every question in round two is worth... All right, hit me. Well, 
Well, what do we have here? It'll be an impotent year. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Put it in gear, cause here we go. We all know that Times Square's balls drop at midnight, but when do baby boys' balls usually drop? In the third trimester of pregnancy, in the first month after birth, after circumcision, or at the onset of puberty? 95% of unborn boys' testes descend into the scrotum during the eighth month of pregnancy. The countdown is longer, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't party. Category. May I introduce Rough Tough and In the Bluffs? One right answer and $6,000 head your way. Hey, have you ever seen those hilarious co-ed naked sports shirts? I love them. Suppose Native American players of Bagataway had wanted a co-ed naked shirt for their sport. Because this sport descended from Bagataway, which shirt would be best? Co-ed naked lacrosse, co-ed naked bowl. Begat away, begat, the modern version of lacrosse. I don't know, I'd be wary of playing any sport naked that has the words bag and away in its name. I need a cat. Okay, give it up for going, going, gone up. Set up straight. This one's worth $6,000. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. How might you say that the country now called Ghana went about changing its soapy name? It rinsed away the Gold Coast, it rid itself of the tan dial, it cleansed the Ivory Coast, or it washed off the Kame. It's just tragic. Let's take a look at the right answer. When the British colony of the Gold Coast gained independence, it changed its name to Ghana. Apparently, it was tired of dropping itself in the shower. I have no idea what that means. Okay, I need a category. Shake hands with... Not me. Please, not me. You get 4,000 clams for this one. All right, here's the deal. I got my good friend Raul here. Say hello, Raul. You bastard! Every time you pick a wrong answer, I'm going to give Raul an electric shock. Isn't that right, Raul? <laughs> hmm, Raul just spat on me, so I'm going to turn up the juice. <laughs> and here's the question. What is another name for an Atlantic Coast clam? Yeah, baby! <laughs> An Atlantic clam is a quahog. Hey, Raul, isn't that right? Look at that. Ow. Okay, pick a category. Hey, all right, guess what you just picked? It's time to play no. Dis or Dat. The category for this Dis or Dat is... Pop stars wear leather jeans. All right, I'm going to read. Oh, I see. You got this thing down. Well, I'll put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's dance. Beastie Blank XX or XY. Spice Blank. Indigo Blank. Pet Shop Blank. Pointer Blank. Weather Blank. One more. Chemical Blank. That's all she wrote. You are a very smart person, and I want to see your new score. There you go, next time you treat. Okay, let's get out of here. Category. Here we have, I match my chair. $2,000 says you don't know this one. All right, complete this analogy for me. Your skin is to self-tanning lotion as wood is to what? Shellac? Veneer? That'd be more like skinning a tan person than making a suit out of their flesh. And that's not legal. <laughs> See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. Self-tanner actually stains your skin a disgusting shade of yellowish-brown, a lot like wood stain colors wood the color of your choice. Scientists concluded that he had been exposed to 17! This category is known as Trashy Child Stars. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. It's about time to stick my mitts in the wretched refuse of the stars.
Ah, joy unto me, it's celebrity trash. Oh, nice. I've got a couple of CDs, love songs, and let's go bang, a Kids Incorporated t-shirt, an essay on what I did last summer, and a party of five scripts. Well, look at you. Party of Five's Jennifer Love Hewitt began as a singer and dancer on Kids Incorporated. And after a stab at music, she got stabbed in I Know What You Did Last Summer. Okay, I need a cat. The category? Scarf Face. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Put your tray in the upright position. It's time for takeoff. If you're looking for an accessory to go with your new outfit, what should you buy? A scarf that'll kill someone for you? A scarf that'll help plan a crime? A scarf that'll hold up a bank with you? Or a scarf that'll steal for you? Oh no, look over here, scarf! It's about to... Here's what you should have picked. An accessory is a person who aids or abets in the commission of a crime, but is not present at the scene of the crime. I just hope you and your scarf don't get caught. It was all him. I had nothing to do with it. I should have taken you to Goodwill when I had the chance. Okay, pick a category. The selection is California, here I come. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Let's rock. If California changed its name to Calipigia, which of these would be the most appropriate new state nickname? Land of the people with nice butts, land of the plays by George Bernard Shaw, land of the fowl that are similar to ducks, or... No, that's Pygmalion genius. In case you're wondering, if you're Calipigian, you have a nice butt. Maybe that's why the traffic's so bad in California. People are getting rear-ended all the time. I need a category. The category is, oh my god, that guy's so hot. How does $4,000 grab you? Okay, how hot is too hot? Well, that depends on your scale. Who is too hot to touch? Will Smith at 6 degrees of separé. Brad Pitt at 70 degrees. Whoa, whoa! Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. 70 degrees Celsius is about 155 degrees Fahrenheit, so Brad Pitt will raise a blister pretty quick. And he can come to my house and rub in burn cream anytime he wants. All right, hit me. Think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. Not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. If at first you succeed, quit. I mean, if you do well in this game, don't be a loser and play it again. Go out and have some fun. one amazing let's check out what it did to your score that's the game player i couldn't have done a better job myself but then i wasn't playing by myself was i but seriously player and i don't say this to just everybody you don't know jack some people
people call it the high scoreboard. I prefer to call it the dumb luck board. You want to prove me wrong? Play another game. Let me know when you're ready.